please welcome your host, sportscaster and reporter for the AWS Deep Racer League, Ryan Marine. Hello, good morning. So great to see so many of you up early here in Las Vegas. Welcome to the big show for the Deep Racer League 2019 and a welcome in as well to all of you watching on the live stream around the world. Well, I'll tell you what, this 2019 Deep Racer League, it all culminates here with our championship round coming up in just a few minutes, but it has been a remarkable journey to this point. It's been a global competition without a doubt this year. 17 countries, 21 cities, and six virtual competitions. That's what encapsulated the 2019 Deep Racer League. It's also been a season of tremendous progress. If you go back to a year ago when we unveiled Deep Racer and crowned our inaugural league champion on this stage last year, Rick Fish was able to take home the cup with a time of around 51 seconds. Since that time, that lap record has been shattered. Indeed, our developers have been hard at work and now the lap record on that very circuit has been lowered to somewhere around seven seconds. It's amazing what we have done in just 12 months. Over the last 48 hours, our fastest 64 developers out of the tens of thousands who tried to make the field here in Las Vegas have been battling it out for the right and indeed the honor to be a part of the championship three that will be taking to the stage in just a few short minutes. But before we introduce you to our protagonist, let's take a quick look back on what's taken place over the last few days, the intense competition that has led to this moment. Ooh, look at that acceleration. I have no idea how he's done that. Watch the best of the best go at it. For the title, thousands of developers have been gunning for those 64 spots. The moment of truth, it is now or never. This one's gonna be tough. Fractions of a second between hero and zero. Last chance to dance here in Las Vegas. Well, the competition has been fierce, but only three could stand on the stage as the championship three are three finalists here in Las Vegas with the chance to race for the title of Deep Racer Champion in 2019. Now let's introduce you to them, starting first with our top qualifier, the champion at the Tokyo Summit, the world record holder on the previous generation track with a lap time of 7.44 seconds, and the fastest developer throughout the week so far here in Las Vegas, current record holder on this generation of racetrack with a time of just a shade over eight seconds. She's been the fastest developer on four wheels all throughout the season. Please welcome to the stage, all the way from Japan, So La! So La races out of the powerful DNP stable, which has sent two finalists here to our championship three. Her go for broke style has been thrilling to watch all throughout the action so far here in Las Vegas. That style has been illustrated by just a 35% lap completion ratio, and she has easily the most resets per lap of any of our championship three. Nevertheless, it has been a recipe for success. She is the world record holder. Our second competitor coming to this stage is her teammate, also from that powerful DNP team. Like his teammate Sola, he reaches the championship three undefeated in head-to-head -head matches in the round of 16 yesterday. He was the runner-up to Sola in Tokyo, a champion on the virtual circuit. Please welcome to the stage, Fumiyaki! In contrast to Sola, Fumiyaki's fast and consistent style has been his calling card. He's defeated his opponents in the round of 16 by an average of one second. He's favored by our AWS analytics to come away with the cup with the probability of victory at 37% and his 51% lap completion rate is the best of our championship three. 
And joining these two on this stage is our Taipei champion. He had to survive the last chance bracket to advance to the finals after a head-to-head -head loss to Sola in the round of 16 yesterday. He's a graduate student studying reinforcement learning at Chaotung University in Taiwan. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Roger Chu. Roger's best lap time of the event so far in Las Vegas, 9.064 seconds, the slowest of our championship three. However, he has the fastest average lap time of any of our three competitors here, and in our slightly altered championship format, that could prove to be the difference. And it would not be a race event without a celebrity to wave the flag. You know him well, folks. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Matt Wood. Well, there they are, your championship three, our celebrity flag waiver as well. Let's briefly run through the rules. How is this going to play out? And we'll get our championship matches started. Unlike league play, which has seen each developer get four minutes of track time to set their fastest lap today, it all comes down to one 90-second attempt per competitor. That is it. One chance to dance, period. And at the end of each competitor's 90 seconds, we'll know the fastest lap. The fastest lap set amongst these three will be your 2019 league champion. Our track boss, you'll see him walking around in the track assisting our competitors, Tim Bruce. He will be here doing his best to give our competitors the most opportunities possible. It's an important job and we thank him for it. All right, with that said, it is time to begin the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please get ready because Sola, we need you to take your position. Sola, you will be on track first. There you see it, a minute and 30 seconds on the clock, the car placed at the start-finish line. Sola has the tablet at hand. She'll have the control of the throttle there. All right, let's get our countdown to the green flag on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sola, your 90 seconds has begun. So this is a different track layout here this year than we saw throughout the circuit this year. Also, it's a different layout than we saw at reInvent a year ago. It's much different here. That lap will not count. The car went four wheels over the white line. That's what our track boss is watching, as you saw right there. Now, this is costly for Sola because there's only 90 seconds to work with. Remember, we talked about her style. It's very aggressive. She tends to come out of the gate very fast and slowly dial back the intensity to find that hot spot. Here we go. That's the first official lap of the summit so far. 12.384 seconds. Looks like this lap will most likely not count. Coming around here, starting the next one. Still has that 12.384 to fall back on with just 35 seconds remaining. It's worth noting that just 90 seconds to work with. I think our developers are likely to be a bit more conservative, but how about that? Not much conservative about a 10.236. Just 20 seconds remaining for Sola. Can she improve? We're looking at it best perhaps two laps, and it's critical to get a nice running start, if at all possible. But it looks like she's going to have to do it from a standing start. This will be the final lap. Matt, get that checkered flag ready. The clock has hit zero. She'll be allowed to complete this lap. Can she improve on 10.236? She cannot. Checkered flag waves. Sola's run is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest developer of the world record holder, Sola! 10.236 will be the time to beat, and Fumiaki, her teammate and colleague from the DNP Publishing House, is up next. What can Fumiaki do in his allotted 90 seconds? We're about to find out. Let's get the countdown on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fumiaki is on it into that left-handed bend at the start of the lap. Now we talked about his style as being a bit more conservative, a bit more cautious, but he's coming out of the gate with some aggression. We saw him in warm-up this morning looking very solid here on the track. That lap will count because 
of the reset. He did lose some time, 16.366, but at least there is a time registered. It is worth noting that the car is allowed to be reset twice on a lap and still have it count as an official lap, as we've seen here on Fumiaki's lap so far. A little bit better there on lap two, 14.716. Interesting to note, though, that this horseshoe bend has been the bugaboo for Fumiaki so far. Halfway through the 90 seconds and 12.756 is best. Look at that, just hugging that white line. Dancing dangerously, but a little bit faster. 11.654 for Fumiaki with 30 seconds remaining. What do you think about this, folks? Is it going to be better? It is, but it's not fast enough yet. 11 flat, 11.065, just 17 seconds, most likely two laps remaining. This lap will not count because the car exceeded track limits, but the track boss, Tim, allowing it to continue to give him a running start here. Has to slow down, has to get back to the line. It's not going to happen in time, or is it? Well, let's go ahead and let him go, but the car exceeded track limits again. Fumiaki's run is done. He'll have to settle for an 11.065, currently second of our three competitors. So it all comes down to our last chance qualifier, Roger, who had to race his way through the last chance bracket yesterday. The student from Taiwan has the tablet at hand. He's ready to go. 90 seconds on the clock. Let's get the countdown on. What do you think, folks? Can he do it? Three, two, one. And he's on it. Roger on his way. Let's cheer him on, folks. He's still gunning for the best lap we saw from Sola earlier. 10.2 and change. That's the lap he's going to need to beat if he's going to host the Deep Racer Cup. Here through the flying S is now onto the front straightaway into this Parabolica left-hand turn. Off track though there. Roger, again, we talked about it earlier. He was the slowest of the three qualifiers to make it here. So he's been reprogramming his model overnight. He told us yesterday when he qualified, I know the model I've been using cannot compete with Sola, cannot compete with Fumiaki. So I've got to do something. I need to be aggressive. And that's what he's doing right now. Here we go, his first official lap, 12.156. That's something you can build on. Let's place the car back, and he's back on it here, but only 35 seconds left. Pressure packed here with just 90 seconds to work with. Around to complete another lap. Let's see, can he get through this opening sequence cleanly this time? It's been tough. It's not looking promising, but there is still time. 20 seconds left. Sola right now holds the fastest lap. Can our double world record holder hold on? Just 12 seconds to go. What do you think, folks? Who's going to win? Seven seconds to go. Tim hustling back to the start finish line. One last flying lap for all the marbles for Roger. It's not going to happen. Time has expired. A valiant effort from Roger. 12.156, his best lap time. But with that, we now know our results. Let's make sure our timekeepers have been able to identify those times. They've been reviewing everything. Let's take a look. There it is on the screen. Sola, your champion at a 10.236. Fumiaki in second, Roger in third. And with that, let's welcome our trophy winners up to the podium to collect their trophies. Starting with third place, Roger Chu from Taiwan. Matt Wood here to shake his hand and congratulate him. Well done, Roger, coming out of the last chance bracket. A tremendous effort here in Las Vegas. Second place goes to Fumiaki. Comes up just eight tenths of a second short of his teammate Sola. Well done. And how about it? Your champion for the year 2019. She's had the world record on the previous track. She's got the world record here. And now the Champions Cup as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Sola.
And in addition to that beautiful championship cup, she wins an automatic berth in the 2020 D-Bracer Championship. She'll have tracks named after her. She'll have also the choice of a $25,000 scholarship for machine learning degree or 25,000 AWS credits. Congratulations to each and every one of you and everyone else who has competed in what has been a tremendous season of Deep Racer competition. We really have come a long way, but this is just the beginning because even bigger things are planned for next year. So let's close here this morning by taking a look at what's to come at an AWS Summit near you next year when the Deep Racer League resumes in 2020.